S. T. Paul. Min. Minnesota Supreme Court justices appeared skeptical Thursday that states have the authority to block former President Donald Trump from voting, with some suggesting Congress is best positioned to decide whether its role in the 2021 U.S. Capitol attack is warranted. Prevent him from running. The justices harshly questioned a lawyer representing Minnesota voters who are suing to keep Trump frontrunner for 2024 Republican presidential nomination. Off-state ballot under rarely used insurrection clause of U.S. Constitution. Citing Congress' role in certifying presidential electors and its power to impeach. Some justices said eligibility issues should be resolved there. And all of this seems to suggest that there is a fundamental role that Congress, not the states, must play. Chief Justice Natalie E. Hudson said, I think what's troubling is this interrelationship that suggests this is a national issue for Congress to decide. Oral arguments before state Supreme Court revolved around questions that courts in two states, even nation's highest court, have never resolved. Meaning of insurrection clause in Civil War era 14th Amendment and whether states are even allowed to decide on issue. At issue is whether Trump will get on the ballot in states where lawsuits challenge his eligibility. The Minnesota case and a similar case Colorado, where a similar trial is ongoing, are among several lawsuits filed across the country to bar Trump from state elections in 2024 for his role the Jan. 6. 2021. Capital attack. Congressional certification of Democrat Joe Biden's 2020 victory. The Colorado and Minnesota cases are furthest forward, putting one or both on a path expected to lead to the U.S. Supreme Court. Minnesota went directly to the state Supreme Court, where five of seven justices heard arguments after two recused themselves on Thursday. Justices have consistently questioned whether it is appropriate for states to determine a candidate's eligibility to run for president. Hudson also said he was concerned about the possibility of just chaos that could ensue if multiple states decide the issue differently. Even if court had the power to keep Trump off ballot, the question that concerns me most is should we be? He said. The former president is dominating the Republican presidential primaries as voting quickly approaches in the primary caucus and primary states. Nicholas Nelson, an attorney representing Trump, said states' roles in determining candidates' eligibility for the presidency are limited to what he called basic processing requirements, such as determining whether they meet age requirements. He cited Chief Justice's concerns about the potential for chaos that could result from states deciding differently on issue. The petitioners would like this to be a one-time case. But we are a 50-state democracy, he said. The question of whether Trump should be barred from voting under sedition section of 14th Amendment should not eve.